Baby Tadia suckles gently from his bottle, the cadence of his breath in sync with his sleep, giving meaning to the notion of sleeping like a baby. His twin sister, Talia, nestles beside him, her tiny feet signifying the distance to her walk of life. The twins have just turned three months. It's the first days that they are most vulnerable. The milk bottle comes in handy, but according to Dorcas, their mother, it's the carton that has literally packaged their lives. <laughs> Na box ninipewa kunikuwa na manguo ndani, kunikuwa na towels, kunikuwa na leso, kunikuwa na water guard, kunikuwa na ORS. Her twins were born premature, with Tadia arriving more than 30 minutes after his sister. The fact that she was expecting twins made her pregnancy high risk. In every 1,000 live births in Kenya, we have 39 babies dying. And in every 100,000 live births, we have 510 mothers dying. The curtain has made the difference. It has acted as the baby's pouch, a more than a life saver for the family that previously shared a one-roomed house in Dandora. The only bed in the house finding space for the husband, their school-going child and herself. The curtain box turned baby crib. <laughs> But it's not your ordinary off-the-shelf box. It's a mini incubator that comes equipped with 18 assorted items for both mother and baby. We want to reduce the four major causes of death of our newborns, which is um, malaria, and we have a net for that. We have um, diarrheal diseases, we have the diarrhea kit for that. Um, we also have um, neonatal sepsis, we have chlorhexidine and cotton wool for that. And also the last, the last one is um, hypothermia, which causes new, new, new pneumonia. And we have warm clothes and, and blankets and, and the box itself, which is a nice conducive place for people to sleep in. The concept, Wambui says, was borrowed from Finland. In the 1930s, Finland was a poor country and infant mortality was high. In every 1,000 live births, 65 babies would die. That number is now down to two deaths in every 1,000 babies. The cotton box, however, has more contents. The contents inside is to help the baby, but to obtain the box for free, mothers have to attend prenatal care at the hospital where they are trained on its proper use. What's killing our mothers is the fact that they're not going for the four routine antenatal, antenatal care visits because when they do this, we're able to identify high-risk pregnancies. The aim is that no matter their social backgrounds, all mothers would have an equal start in life, an initiative by the Finnish government. Wambui says they distribute at least 30 boxes per month for now. So as I say, kila mtoto anakuja na sani yake, we want that kila mtoto atakuja na box yake. Box kama ineza fika huko mashinani pia, ineza saidia wa mama sana. Kwa sababu sa zingine uneza enda kwa clinic, naona chenye mzaza meleta na mtoto kwa clinic, for a few minutes every day, Dorcas lets her twins bask in the sun as they lay in the boxes. It's her wish that growing up healthy, they will have the ambition to aim at the sun later in life. For now, she gives her maternal duties her best shot with the limited resources at her disposal. According to Lancet Kenya, about 40,000 children die annually in their first 28 days. The carton box idea just one way of ensuring a zero infant mortality rate. If not so, then at least this numbers to drop. Masikandie Citizen TV, Dandora, Nairobi County.